Have you been able to meet many people yet or are you still kind of quarantining and not able to do that? Um, so we have individual workouts, so I didn't meet everyone, you know. Uh, you know, you see the guys coming in and out, but that's not the real, like, real situation, you know. We have to know more about us deeper, you know. Right. Thank you. Next question will come from Chris Kirshner with The Athletic. Hey, Bogdan. Um, I'm curious, why was Atlanta an intriguing place for you to sign? Uh, because I'm such a good player, you know, and I'm such a good fit for them. And uh, I, I feel like um, I can help them, you know, and that's uh, what I feel like uh, they want me for, you know. And uh, this is uh, this is perfect situation for me as well, you know, to um, step up in my game as well and uh, reach the high goals, um, team goals and individual goals as well. We've got another question from Sean Cunningham out in Sacramento. Sean. What's up, Bogey? How are you? I'm good, Sean. And you? <laughs> good, man. Congratulations. Um, just, uh, I guess, if you were to be able to sum up just these past few weeks from your perspective in terms of just uh, the wild ride that is free agency, how, how would you be able to sum that up? As I said, it was really crazy and excited and uh, a lot of like unknown things you know like what's gonna happen uh you know it was stressful at the same time then I was happy that everything is going on then you know a lot of good problems I will say at the end and um, I'm really happy that everything is over right now and uh you know now I'm I'm moving on yeah and in doing so I guess just what will you miss most about Sacramento? And obviously, you know, they had a new regime, new front office come in. I guess at what point did you figure that your time was ultimately going to be done there officially? I mean, we are all pros, you know, and um, uh, we always have, we will always have some history behind us, right? So, but, but uh, honestly, what I'm going to miss over there, it's my friends, uh, which I consider as a family, you know, and uh, I get to know him for the last three years, and they were really close to me, you know, and uh, um, I'm going to miss them for sure. And I will have the great experience of the sec. I'm going to miss fans, but, you know, time's going on. I wish them uh, all the best, and I know they wish me all the best as well. Cool. Congratulations. Thank you, Shane. Next question from Allison Mastrangelo with WSB. Hey, how are you? Um, uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about the free agency moves the Hawks have made this offseason, and it's all about making the playoffs. Where do you believe that you fit in to help make this team a playoff team this year? Um, you know, maybe a lot of you guys, you think I'm just a shooter. Uh, but I know I can make the other guys better, you know, and uh, what Hawks had right now, um, group of like experienced guys that they're new right now in the team and they've been in, in, in the league around for a while and uh, uh, young guys, they're really, really talented, you know, first first year, or this is going to be a second or third year for them. Um, so that that's a perfect group for, uh, for success, you know. Uh, and um, I'm happy, really, really happy to be a part of it. And uh, I can see, I can see only like bright future. Who was uh, one of the first guys to reach out to you on the Hawks when everything was finalized? Who reached out? Was it Trey or or John? Or who reached out to you first? And what they say? It was Trey, Gallo, Clint, uh, most of the guys. But Trey, Gallo, Clint was like one of the first guys. Okay. Next question from Paul Newberry with the AP. Hey, how you doing? Congratulations. Uh, welcome to Atlanta. Thank you. Um, what did it, what excites you about playing with that? You talked. You mentioned the young guys. Uh, this young core they've have. Um, 
what what specifically excites you about playing with uh, this group and Trey Young in particular? Jo- joining him in the in the backcourt, what does what does that mean to you? And what do you see the potential? Mm-hmm. So uh, I think when when you when you when you come in a league, you know, it takes time for you to realize how to um, make your value of yourself, you know, and how to be value as a player, you know. And how to be respected. So that that takes for a couple of years. And for the guys that are really talented, like Trey, let's say, uh, you know, it takes a little faster steps. So the next step for him is winning. You know, and I know that I know his competitor. Um, so uh, that's the answer on my on my question. I mean, uh, when you when you have a competitor, guys around you. Um, um, first, you you test yourself in a league. You can see you can play, and then you get satisfied with that. And then uh, now you want more wins. And it's important that we are on the same that we all of us are on the same page. And uh, that's that's where uh, our mindset should be uh, on. Also, too, what what do you, what do you, can I ask you just to follow up, uh, just specifically? How excited you are, and what? How do you think you and Trey will mesh together in the backcourt? I think we're going to match perfect, you know, especially offensively. Um, he's an unbelievable shooter. I'm an unbelievable shooter, and we can both handle the balls. He he's better on uh, on drives into the paint, and he can get us a uh, lots of open shots for us, you know. And uh, I I think the the team's going to be really in trouble, you know, guarding us together. Next question from Alec McQuaid of 11 Alive. Hey, appreciate you doing this. I, I was just curious, um, how has your perception of the Hawks franchise evolved even as recent as the last year in terms of how interested you have been to join this, this franchise? Uh, I didn't hear beginning, but I think I understand your question. Uh, so I know they went through the rebuilding, but you know, um, as far as I know right now, and um, this is the reason why they brought me here. Uh, we are all about the winning right now, you know, and uh, um, that's why they're all in this year. And uh, you know, they brought also another players next to me. They're really. Uh, experienced in the league and uh, we know why we are here you know Uh, it's time to win really was there a time or was there something that Travis said that kind of solidified you wanting to be with this organization like what do you mean was there just something that they pitched to you or was there just kind of one big thing that was I want to be with the Hawks this is the reason why I mean, it's 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 multiple things, you know. The the core they build around, the the players they got this year, you know, everything, and uh, and me as well, you know, included. Next question from Terrell Thomas. Good morning. Uh, welcome to Atlanta. What are your overall thoughts of the city of Atlanta? Uh, we heard your, talk, your thoughts on Trey Young. We've heard your thoughts on what you think of the, the Hawks basketball team and what you can bring uh, to their program. But what are your thoughts on the overall city of Atlanta? So, honestly, I'm pretty excited to get to know the town, you know, and the city. And um, I'm still kind of settling in uh, and looking for the place. And, you know, uh, I didn't have so much time to look around. Um, to visit the city, um, but uh, I'm really excited. I have a probably you know I have a friend of mine here playing uh, Pero Antic. You know, uh, we were playing together in in Turkey in Fenerbahce. So he was telling me a lot of good things about the city. Uh, he was mad he left Atlanta back then, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he was he was pretty excited that I I got here and uh, I think he will help me a lot. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go back to Sarah. 
You mentioned you're much more than just a shooter, obviously. Have they told you much, whether it's Coach Pierce or the front office, have they told you, you know, what they expect from you? Do they want you to be a leader? Um, what are kind of their expectations that they've told you? I, I think they know me uh, and they know what I can bring to the game, you know, and we didn't like sit down and talk particularly. Um, but I know the, the, the coach Pierce is really like, um, players coach, you know, and he really wants, uh, uh, you know, to bring out the best out of the players, you know, they want, he want all the players to be successful, you know, and that's what, uh, that's what, that's what is a coach's job. So, um, you know, it, it's been so short time to, you know, do some, something serious about everything and we didn't even start yet. So I'm 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 waiting. I'm 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 excited to to see what what kind of challenges he got for me. But I'm sure he got it. Thank you, Chris Karshner. Um, when you played against the Hawks last season, what did you feel like they were missing for them to take their next step in their rebuilding process? Uh, in rebuilding process or in the winning process <laughs> both um i mean to take a, the good to sign a good players nothing else i mean uh and develop young guys help the guys develop uh um you know it's it's important to have the guys with the experience so they can they can show the young players um uh, the path you know in the league so um that's from my experience, you know, when you have a good vets around you, uh, most probably a rookie is going to be uh, good. We've got a question from Edwin Powell with Hawks Beat. Hey, welcome to Atlanta. I wanted to ask you, you're still a relatively young player. What aspects of your game are you still looking to uh, improve upon? Um, most probably like, um, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to play all right now, 72 games. I was about to say 82. Um, I want to play, I want to stay healthy whole, whole year. Uh, I want to improve, uh, my pull-ups, my defense, and, uh, a little bit more like quicker decisions in offense. I'm, I'm, I'm still, um, like, I would not say indecisive, but uh, still, I'm, 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 I have that second of a thought, you know, before um, patient. I will say patient, maybe too much patient. Back to Allison. This whole year and the off season has been so different compared to other years. Are you concerned that it's going to take some time to build some chemistry when you kind of have this short window before the season starts and in just a couple of weeks with your new teammates? I mean, um, we are all experienced enough and we are all, I am experienced enough, I will say that. And uh, um, I know it's a tough situation, and but everyone in, is on the same page, you know. Everyone is, tough, in, is in tough situation. So, um, we just have to do like what is best for us, you know, and, and try to get together as quick as you can. Uh, and I think the front office did a pretty good job in like uh, bringing a lot, a couple international guys, couple uh, international guys that they're in the league for a while, then couple, you know, young guys and couple American guys there in the, in the league for a while. So that's a good mix uh, to, that will hopefully work out together, you know, and, uh, I'm looking forward, really. Has there been anything that you've been able to do virtually, though, with your new teammates, in, you know, to kind of get to know them? I know you guys can't work out together right away, but any Zoom calls or team meetings that you guys have had to, to get to know one each other? Um, yes, but, you know, we didn't have time there to talk. You know, it's more about, you know, how the season going to go, what's going to happen, um, you know, based on organizations, you know just of the NBA organization, nothing else. And text Back message. To, oh, excuse me. Back to Sean. 
Bogey, sorry about that. Um, just when you think about uh, the Kings, they kind of took their decision down to the wire, whether to match or not. I was just kind of curious on your end, would, would there have been any awkwardness if, if the Kings had matched? Did you think at any point they might? I really didn't know. You know, it, it's it's first time for me experiencing it. And uh, hopefully the last time because, you know, to sit down for two days and just think about where you're going to go, one city or another. I mean, it's a good problem, but, um, you know, when you don't know when you're going to continue your career, it's not about just that day that you're going to move in another city. It's about a career, you know. And um, But I'm really excited what happened. You know, I'm really excited about Atlanta right now. Uh, and, um, I'm, I'm, you know, there's no time for me to look back, really. I'm, I'm really excited about a future here. And, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And obviously knowing just how important winning is to you, obviously wasn't able to do that with the Kings. Just what, what is kind of maybe that missing ingredient in, in that, that, didn't, that wasn't there over those past few years in Sacramento? You know, sometimes it's um, maybe just about the timing, you know. Um, I, I still think that's a great group of the guys and, and, and the coaches, you know, and uh, we really had a fun over there and a pretty talented group, you know, and they know what I think about them and I know what they think about me and uh, that's what is most important, you know, and we build the good relationships. We are really good friends, um, you know, but for some successful stories, you know, uh, it takes time to to build that, you know, to build the chemistry, to build. Maybe it, was, it wasn't the right time, you know, for us to win. But uh, hopefully they, you know, I'm going to cheer for them. But, you know, I wish them all the best, really. We've got time for just a couple more. Uh, first, back to Sarah Spencer. So this is a Hawks team that is aiming for the playoffs. Um, I know it's very early, um, but with looking at the roster, um, are you confident that this team is capable of achieving that this season? Yeah, I mean, um, when I saw, um, you know, I, I honestly forgot uh, Clint was in the roster at the beginning. <laughs> I saw Clint. <laughs> yeah. And this team is really good. Like, this team is really nice. Then they signed. Gallo, Solomon, Chris Dunn, Rondo, like, you know, bringing the guy from a championship team, it's really important. And it's going to be really important for young guys, you know, they can look up at him, you know, and uh, see his pad in the NBA, you know. Um, he's, I mean, the, the, our team is really, really good team, you know, and we will make sure, you know, to, to show out every single light, every single night and to be 100 every night, really. Like, that's that's uh, uh, what I know that, that fans are expecting from us. And uh, I think we are, we are all hungry. Thanks. And our final question will come from Chris Kirshner. Uh, going back to signing your offer sheet, was it your preference that Sacramento – ultimately not matched? Did you express that to them, that you wanted to move on with your career and, and end up signing with Atlanta? I mean, um, since SEC didn't do any moves, like, in offseason, um, I was like, okay, uh, you know, I'm, I'm ready to leave. Um, and I was really excited about Atlanta. As I say, there is a... Um, a, a lot of guys that are new here and a lot of talented guys that were here for a while. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about, about this group, really. Okay, well done. Thank you very much. We've hit the limit on questions for today. Um, welcome again to Atlanta, and we will see you again soon. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.